is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 toyota highlander courtesy of younger toyota in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so i made this one today because there's actually a couple of nice changes for the 2022 highlander of course you have incredible reliability that of course is what toyota is known for after all you actually do get two years or 25,000 miles of complimentary maintenance as well a lot of people don't necessarily know that so always like to mention that but ultimately in this video we'll be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration braking steering fill ride quality sound system exhaust clip all of that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing it said there will be several different trim levels for the 2022 highlander first one being the l starting at thirty five thousand two hundred and five dollars le for thirty seven thousand four hundred and five dollars xle for forty thousand four hundred and five xse which actually is the one we have today starting at forty two thousand limited for forty four three sixty and platinum for forty seven thousand five hundred and sixty dollars by the way that was all pricing for the front wheel drive configuration if you wanted to add all wheel drive simply add roughly two thousand dollars then to any of those prices but regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant on this thing is going to be the same powering the 2022 highlander will be a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated v6 putting out 295 horsepower at 6600 rpm 263 pound feet of torque coming in at 4700 rpm power sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 7.3 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 21 the city 29 on the highway for the front wheel drive 20 in the city 27 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive taking regular unleaded fuel but said that before we do any kind of fun acceleration tests here in our 2022 highlander i did want to mention to you guys the drive modes and so all of those drive mode adjustments are located directly behind the shifter there's a toggle switch there's also a circular dial the toggle switch is going to give you your on-road driving modes which will include eco normal and sport then the circular dial is actually going to give you mud and sand along with rock and dirt and you do actually have a snow driving mode then as well which is going to come in super handy especially here in western maryland but nonetheless those drive modes will adjust things like the shift points the throttle response and the all-wheel drive system engagement so now having gotten all that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway here let's put the highlander to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 highlander here up to speed all right you guys in three two one wow that's actually really good you know what? There's so many turbocharged engines out there right now. And yes, we all know they're more unreliable, but this naturally aspirated engine has a ton of power and it's extremely reliable as well. So it's really the best of both worlds. I don't know, I think I'm used to turbo lag at this point, even if it's just a little bit, but there's none of that, of course, because this isn't a turbocharged engine. So it's instant acceleration from the get-go and it's extremely reliable as well. So you gotta love it. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 13.3 inch ventilated front discs in the back, 13.3 inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, it actually comes in at 116 feet, which is incredibly impressive. Let me tell you guys typically with suvs especially three row suvs it's coming in in the upper 120s if not the 130s i've seen as bad as 139 feet so 116 feet quite honestly it's sports sedan good so immediate stop in this thing which is what you want because you're more than likely going to have some precious cargo sitting in the back seat so definitely a good thing there and the braking feel is perfectly fine i love it definitely leans towards the firmer side of things which i personally appreciate then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent mcpherson strut front suspension in the back trailing wishbone type rear suspension a front stabilizer bar then as well as far as ride quality goes it's been perfectly fine on my short test drive here today so definitely no issues with that as far as steering feel goes leans a little bit more on the heavier side compared to a lot of other three row suvs i've tested i'll put it that way i mean it's nothing crazy like a sports car but comparing it to other three row suvs that i test it's definitely on the heavier side which i like it gives you a better driver feedback it instantly points you in the direction that you want to go so i personally appreciate that as far as cabin noise goes you guys can tell i'm actually going 52 ish miles per hour right now so not a whole lot of exterior wind noise whatsoever coming into the cabin you will get an acoustic laminated front windshield for all trim levels and then if you were to go with the limited or the platinum trims you will actually get acoustic laminated front side glass then as well so we don't 
don't have one of those two trims, but having said that, it's still perfectly fine, quite honestly. The touch of visibility, I don't have the third row up right now, but I can see perfectly fine out the back without that third row up. I put it that way because sometimes the third row headrests tend to be beefy on other SUVs, but right now it looks perfectly fine. Rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard on the platinum trim level, and also with that platinum, you will find a 10 inch color head up display projecting your speed, speed limit, and safety features then as well. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Toyota Highlander. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2022 Toyota Highlander finished in midnight black metallic. Just got it washed up. It looks pretty dang good, I gotta be honest. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Front grille, of course, is going to differ amongst the trim levels. You got, they're going to get chrome, silver, or black surrounds, depending upon the particular trim level that you go with, with the XSE being more of the uh, sportier trim level, at least in appearance. That is why we're going to have gloss black surrounds, which look dang good on a black exterior. So that's just my personal opinion. Silver accenting then found on the lower portion of that front bump or only if you go with the platinum trim level that makes sense it's more of the prestigious trim level so to speak to the sides led headlights do come standard on every single trim level across the board for added illumination at night automatic feature of course coming with that as well meaning when it starts to get dark at night those headlights will turn on automatically for you there led daytime running lights also coming standard led fog lights with the le trim level and up if you wanted them and then you actually get high output led fog lights only for the limited and platinum trim levels but i also wanted to add with that platinum trim level you actually get adaptive front lighting meaning when you're going around the bend at night those headlights will swivel based on the direction of your steering angle better help illuminating than what is around that bend so it's kind of a safety feature in itself and even the whole front fascia is going to differ amongst the trim levels if, for example if you look at this particular xse trim level versus maybe an xle the xse is going to have much more aggressive design as opposed to the le trim level so i wanted to mention that also really like the hood crease you guys can see here in the middle that actually is very prominent when you're driving i think it's a pretty cool look it gives it more of a beefier feel when you're behind the wheel but anyways pretty much rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the highlander all right so now since we are around to the side of this one silver or gloss black roof rails come with the xle trim level and up rear privacy glass is going to come standard for every single trim level across the board chrome belt line molding or gloss black molding in our particular case since we have the xse trim level gloss black a pillar you're not going to be able to obviously tell with a black exterior but if we have maybe a silver or white exterior or any other color really there is going to be that gloss black a pillar just above that side view mirror there so i did want to emphasize that speaking of those side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors they are heated with led integrated turn signals as well for every single trim level across the board no matte cladding on the side skirts either bravo toyota i love that they do this so many suvs out there put that matte black unpainted side skirts and toyota doesn't do that with the highlander so it looks so much more high-end so much more finished in my personal opinion i particularly love it taking a look down to the wheel configuration 18 inch alloys for the lle and xle trims 20 inch machine finished alloys for the xse that obviously is what we have right now 20 inch crim alloys for the limited and 20 inch silver alloys for the platinum but pretty much rounds out the side of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so now since we are around to the back of this one body color shark fin antenna all the way to the top just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light a very aggressive looking rear spoiler as well i like that just below that rear window wiper led taillights then actually do come standard for every single trim level across the board gotta love that black rear bumper for the l l e and x l e trims dark gray metallic finish for the limited and xse trim levels and then a gray metallic finish for the platinum and then of course just below it all there will be a single exhaust outlet slightly different configuration dependent upon the trim level that you go with so for example on the xse we have dual stainless steel tips but having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip And 
And so now since we are around back of the Highlander, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a power tailgate. If you were to go with the LE trim level and up, that is how you're going to go ahead and get that. There is a button on the key fob if you wanted to open that up. There's a button on the tailgate itself, of course, and a button by the driver's side left knee then as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 16 cubic feet even behind that third row. If you were to fold that third row down, that bumps it up to 48.4 cubic feet. And then with all rows folded down, it is going to come in at 84 0.3 cubic feet so definitely a good bit of space there also found in that cargo area there are six cargo tie down anchors you will find a couple of grocery bag hooks back there there is a rear cargo cover if you were to go with the limited or platinum trim levels and there's actually some in-floor storage which i love seeing as well and so i usually put my ice scraper back there being in western maryland here it's definitely something we use so that is what i would recommend putting back there but then making our way up to the third row legroom that is going to come in at 27 0.7 inches so for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there there is rear ventilation for all three rows and the third row passengers actually do have a few cup holders back there then as well but ultimately the third row is best left for children because it is an a ton of space but it should be able to fit a child then making our way to the second row legroom that comes in at a very impressive adult friendly 41 inches again for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had in that second row bench seating can be found for the l l e and xle trims captain's chairs however like we have today can be found on the xse limited platinum and available for the xle i know that's a popular question for the highlander so did want to specify that there second row window sunshades can be found with the xle trim level and up i love that if you go with the captain's chairs configurations each captain's chair is going to give you kind of a folding armrest which is pretty nice if you go with the bench seating you actually get a rear center armrest with cup holders and if you go with the captain's chairs, again, you actually have cup holders between those two captain's chairs. So in case you were curious about where they were located, you actually can get heated second row seats then if you were to go with the platinum. And there are dual rear USB charging ports then for those second row passengers as well. And they actually can set their own temperatures as well. And we'll get to that in a little bit, but making our way then to the front seats, cloth seating with the L and LE trim, soft text upholstery for the XLE and XSE trim levels, leather seating with the limited and platinum, and new for 2022, there are now height adjustable power front seats for the XLE trim level and up. So that's one of the minor changes for the 2022 Highlander there. Eight way power driver seat though, coming with the L and LE and you will get power lumbar if you were to go with the XLE trim level and up. Heated and ventilated front seats coming with the limited and platinum and then heated front seats coming with the XLE trim level and up. Overall seating was plenty comfortable. It always is in Toyota. I never have any issues there. So definitely a good vehicle to go on a nice road trip to Ocean City, Maryland with. But so then taking a look at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped for the le trim level and up and then heated for the limited and platinum trim levels then make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you do have your uh, toyota highlander badging on the one side and then when you flip it over it's pretty basic but it's got what you need lock unlock and that button to pop the rear hatch but it is all keyless entry with a push button start for every single trim level across the board so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee then. But so once started up, tachometer is all the way to your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a fairly large digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display. There are steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel there. And that gives you different information like a digital speedometer, average miles per gallon at any given time, how many miles you have left until you hit empty, outside temperature, the list goes on. So pretty much everything you could possibly want on the digital portion of the gauges there. Then make our way to overall interior quality. There is a power moonroof for the XLE XSE like we have today and the limited trim levels. But then if you were to go with the platinum, you will get a panoramic glass roof. So definitely a good bit more light with that one. But overhead sunglass holder coming with all trim levels and it actually comes with the uh, rear conversation mirror as Toyota calls it. I call it a school bus mirror. So you can essentially spy on the rear passengers. That's always fun. Auto dimming rear view mirror with home controls coming with the XLE trim level and up and that's for up to three different garage doors there. Tri-zone climate control for every single trim level 
level across the board so driver passenger and rear passengers can all set their own temperatures wireless phone charger with the xle trim leveling up ambient interior lighting for the limited and platinum driver voice projection system found just in front of the uh, driver's side visor here that's for every single trim level across the board so you really get to be a school bus driver then but overall interior quality is actually pretty incredible i gotta be honest for this price point you have some contrast stitching just above the passenger side glove box i like this red and black contrast soft text upholstery that we have in this one there's even a cool little carbon fiber ish look just above the passenger side glove box as well you have some added storage just above that passenger side glove box and just below the infotainment screen typically that's storage that's eaten up by something else in other vehicles so i like that toyota added it here on the highlander just in front of the shifter you have a decent amount of storage there perhaps for a cell phone three usb charging ports 12 volt power outlet you also have dual cup holders there's an electromechanical parking brake and within the center armrest is actually where you're going to find your wireless phone charger and of course decent amount of storage with a 12 volt power outlet in there as well so overall i love the contrast colors and overall interior quality is pretty dang good in this thing but now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display here eight inch color touchscreen display essentially coming standard on all trim levels but the platinum platinum is going to bump that up to a 12.5 three inch color touchscreen display bluetooth and audio streaming do come standard android auto apple carplay coming standard for all trim levels but if you were to go with the le trim level and up it's then wireless android auto apple carplay so you gotta love that factory navigation system coming with the limited to platinum of course you can check out your radio information up there by the way when it comes to the sound systems you will find six speakers for the l le xle and xse trim so although we have the xse we actually do have an upgraded sound system with ours today we have an 11 speaker jbl sound system available for our xse and coming standard with the limited and platinum so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on some christmas music since we're in december and let's test out the clarity of this one i'll be home those old songs don't really showcase the capabilities of these new sound systems, if I'm being honest, but I could tell there was a good bit of bass. Pretty good clarity, although that song was probably recorded in the 30s, maybe. <laughs> I don't know but yeah that sound system was plenty fine jbl i used to have a jbl subwoofer back in the day one of my old cars so they're definitely a very reputable company but so then last thing i wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the highlander in reverse you of course will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board and if you were to go with the platinum you're going to get a 360 degree camera with a digital rear view mirror which essentially gives you that rear view camera within that rear view mirror which is pretty darn cool but anyways that is always is going to lead us into safety and so to start the highlander is an iihs top safety pick plus which is the very highest designation given by iihs and that pretty much says it all right there front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver's knee airbag as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also for all trim levels you will get toyota safety sense 2.5 plus which gives you a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection dynamic radar cruise control lane departure alert automatic high beams lane tracing assist and road sign assist then as well then if you were to go with the le trim level and up you're going to get a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert and lastly limited and platinum trims are going to add front and rear parking sensors along with automatic braking then as well so overall when it comes to my final thoughts this thing is excellent safety that iihs top safety pick plus rating pretty much says it all right there great reliability as we all know just pick up a consumer reports magazine and you're going to see confirmation that this thing has incredible reliability basically brilliant braking as well i was kind of surprised to see a three-row suv coming in at 116 feet from 60 to zero that's incredibly impressive as far as room for improvement goes quite honestly there's only two things a full digital gauge cluster would be freaking awesome in this thing and that third row is is a bit snug so if they can figure out a way to make that a little bit more space in the third row not that it's necessary because i mean you got the sequoia and other toyota suvs that give more but still it would be nice but that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in the new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay out